kind of fool who's gonna sit and sing to you about stars, girl. But last night I looked up into the dark half of the blue, and they gone backward. We, uh, so we, with us, um, Augustus is the name of, of Roman emperors, like all the Roman emperors were, were called Augustus somewhere in one of their like 37 names, but the, the first Roman emperor was, was just Emperor Augustus. Uh, so it, it, it really is an, an imperial name, um, and, but the Gus is a name of like a little kid, like it's a, it's a short monosyllabic name, it makes you picture someone quite small, and um, that journey from Augustus to Gus is, is really the journey that he must go on. Like, you know, when, when Hazel first meets Augustus, he's super charming and charismatic, almost in a performative way, right? Like, uh, Gus is constantly, like, slightly misusing words, uh, because he, he knows a lot of big words, and he wants to make sure that you know that he knows them, but he doesn't quite always know what they mean. Um, so at one point, like, he act I, I think he actually says to Hazel, like, stop talking, I'm in the middle of a memorized soliloquy. He meant not wrong, but he says soliloquy. Because, like, he's so performed that, like, he, he obviously sat at home and memorized what he wanted to say to this girl, which is kind of charming, but kind of not. Um, you know, I, I've always grown up being taught and seeing in mind in the stories that, that dominated my cultural life growing up that the hero's journey is the journey from weakness to strength. But the, the journey that Gus must go on is the journey from strength to weakness. And I think that is the real hero's journey. That to me is why Gus is a heroic character, is because um, not always happily and not always willingly, he, he is able to make that journey um, from strength to weakness and, and to still be available to, to, to love and be loved.